Good afternoon, everyone. This is Christian with PerfectStockAlert.com, a 100% free service for smart investors and traders. All we ask in return, please refer a friend. Today is Monday, April the 30th, last day of April 2012, and we'll be looking at four major U.S. markets in today's video, starting off with the Dow Jones Industrial Average. Well, we talked about these last Saturday in our end of the week video there, uh, so today's activity with a little bit of hesitation by the markets or some selling uh, shouldn't be a surprise to you. You kind of expected that, and that's what we're seeing today. Basically, the markets are just stalling, and uh, not stalling as in hesitating before going higher, just stalling because there is some major resistance that we've seen in the past here, here and here and it is still um, there now and that's why we're seeing the signals that we're seeing um, today's signal is a hanging ha uh, candlestick hanging man candlestick basically it's a hammer formation but rather than being at the bottom of a pattern like you'd like to see it it's at the top of a pattern and that's a sell signal it's not a buy signal the one before that is shooting star formation basically uh, inverted hammer at the top of the pattern again another sell signal so this is enough for me to look at all of this uh, taken together we have this low point here a lower low here we have this high point here a lower high here we have the resistance level here that's extended beyond here we have the shooting star candlestick we have the hanging man candlestick that's more than enough reason to take a short position let me clean this up all right so let me show you how i'm going to play this out i'm going to take a short position at this point anywhere within this level here or higher i want to be shorting that uh, you can set your stop up here if you'd like to, but I don't see a big difference between that point and this little point here, the previous uh, two days ago, candlestick high. So I just set it off at this point here. That's where I've got mine. Real tight stop, giving me just this much risk here and this much potential on the downside, that much reward. So risk-reward ratio is just great. I love that. We'll advance the stop along the way, of course, but uh, this is this trade that I have that makes a lot of sense to me. Again, uh, triple top formation basically happening here. You've got one, two and then three. A triple top isn't actually confirmed until you break the lowest down point here, which we've already stated we believe will break down anyway because there's no hammer candlestick formation here, meaning that this is not a true bottom. So once she has broken below that, we will measure this distance out and say, okay, that's how far from the breakout we expect price to continue to go. It's a big move to the downside here that's setting up its potential. Uh, so, you know, keep an eye on it and Definitely be cautious if you are long, and if you are, you shouldn't be. We talked about that a while back. You should have been advancing your stops along the way, and today would have kicked you out of the long positions, which would be fine, uh, but you should be out either in cash or potentially taking a short position. The NASDAQ, we talked about this one on Friday in pretty good detail and finding some... Uh, hesitation here in today's market selling off it makes sense to us uh, that I would be shorting it right here this high would be my stop right there we may shake this off and press higher we'll have to wait and see and I may get another entry opportunity uh, one of the things I don't much care for this chart for would be the fact that there is no uh, shooting star formation like we had over here I would prefer that signal the hanging man candlestick is also a sell signal but it's not as strong as the shooting star therefore it, you want to keep a tight stop on this don't be setting your stop way up here and say well I'm gonna short anything at this range now that's, that's a bit much uh, if it breaks out on you and keeps moving higher fine wait for another uh, signal but right now I like this for a short looking to short anything at this range or in this area here with this pull back to fill that gap as being my initial target. I'll advance the stop along the way. She could continue to break down. We'll get there. If we see that happen, we'll start to update it from that point. The Russell 2000 small cap index, this is the one we told you on a Saturday I'd be most interested in this week. This is the one I really wanted to get short in, and it was a great opportunity to do that today. A couple of things to draw your attention to on this particular chart. I'm not sure I covered all of it on uh, uh, Saturday, so let me go over a couple details here. Uh, we're obviously in a downtrend. Low point, lower low. We have no question about the trend here. Uh, she's got a major gap here and here that was actually filled already but she, now she's built one here very large gap at this point so look for this to fill and we also if we take these two candles together and we blend them together we have a shooting star formation basically a long wick out of the top there uh, it's not a bullish candlestick formation at all and if you ignore that and you just look at the fact that today's candlestick activity was a bearish engulfing that is again another sell signal there so I would set the stop right here tight stop and then be looking to short anything in this trading range right here over the next couple of days as long as we stay respecting that uh, stop loss limit. I'll be looking for a cut pullback to test this low down here, filling the gap. At that point, I will advance the stop down, and then she keeps going lower. I'll stay with it, but at this time, 
we don't know exactly what's going to happen. Another thing I want to draw your attention to right here. Note this high point on the ultimate oscillator uh, on the momentum indicator there. Uh, and at this one here, this is trending up. Okay, And yet this one here, if you look at the corresponding time frame, the close of this candlestick and the close of this candlestick, the highest closes there, they're trending down. What is that? Is that bullish? Is that bearish? It's bearish. If you don't know anything about divergences, you can go to our free website at perfectstockalert.com. If you can read it, it's right there. And there's all kinds of videos there to teach you different aspects of technical analysis including four videos uh, discussing the four main types of divergences that you will find out there. Uh, this is one where you have a bearish setup that you need to take advantage of um, and this one is also calling for a, a sell-off here so I'd be looking for that to happen. Basically momentum is moved to the upside higher than this meaning that price should be doing this situation uh, higher highs but it's not capable of doing it. There's just not enough buy pressure out there in this market. There's more sell pressure so it's not able to do it. That's a sell sign. The S&P 500, same overall signal. We're going to be shorting this one as well. Tight stop right here off of Friday's uh, close, one penny above that. Looking to short anything within that range. Notice we got a higher series. Oh, I'm sorry, a lower series of highs and lower series of lows from uh, from Friday's candlestick to uh, Monday's candlestick formation. Uh, all of this is showing signs of a possible reversal. So we want to take a shot at that. See if we can make money on this move to the downside here. We had some news on Friday. Five banks were closed in the U.S. That's a lot, and it's not really bullish. We also have news on Spain. They're looking to trying to uh, raise money by selling some. Um, poor real estate investments so we'll see what goes on but the news is going to be really driving this market right now especially if it comes out of Europe and Spain so uh, keep your eyes on that but like I said and have been saying for the past four days this little rally we had here don't trust it don't get and fall in love with it it's not really all that strong if you've not been to our free website at perfectstockalert.com, it is right there. It's 100% free, and all we ask in return, please refer a friend, a.k.a. share our videos online. God bless. Take care. Enjoy your evening, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Please take a moment to review our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinion only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of an investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit, loss, or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.